Hi, welcome again. Today in this video we will uh, basically see how I can convert the file names into an Excel file. Now see, uh, I'm having file names into one of my um, folders here. Now we are having many file names you can see. There are a lot of files which are here. I have more than 50 files and what I need to do is I need to create an excel file which should have all these ingredients i mean all these names of the colleges and all so one point is to type individually one by one which is of obviously one of the daunting task uh, which is there so the second thing which i you know will recommend you is to directly ensure by using simple dos commands to convert that file into a txt file and then open it into excel and do the formatting on your own okay now let us see the steps click on uh, the window button i mean this uh, start button and on the on the search stuff write cmd you will go to the command line see cmd you have to write this on the search and you a new command line will be open and in this command line what you can do is you go to the folder where exactly your file is being uh, you know residing in my case my this file uh, this this ppt is residing on desktop so what i will do is i will type cd change directly change directory and i will want to go to desktop so just writing first four character is enough it will automatically go i mean there is something wrong with uh, it i suppose It should be desk asterisk. So we are into desktop, and in desktop, the file uh, is by the name of folder is by the name of ppt. Now we are here in, uh, in the directory where all the files have been kept. Now what I am doing going to do is I will just write a command called dir, which will give me the output of all the files, and I will redirect it a greater than sign to a file called aa dot anything txt done now my file cre is created by the name of aa.txt now one work is done now what i'm going to do i'm going to open excel and in excel i'm going to open that particular file which i have just created so i will go to my open i will go to desktop and in desktop the folder ppt is there and here you just ensure that here all excel files this is changed to all files and here you will see this aa click on this a which you just created by using the command it will ask you for simple some steps don't bother about this just click on next 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 and finally click on finish you can see these all names are in front of you I mean there's a long listing so this is not of my use I will be deleting all this right click delete right click delete right click delete so this is what I was basically requiring I mean of my context now now there is again a small bit of problem with this is I will increase this to ensure that it is visible to you done now this is small problem with this that although this is here this a dot file is not required I will remove this also now it also contains the extinction of the file you can see this extension can be removed obviously by using some of the functions which are available with us so what we need to do is we need to find till we get this dot and we need to extract this all portion so see what I will say I will use first a command called left because we need to extract from the left and then it asks it what is to be extracted from where it is to be extracted click on the row where the name is there I mean the name which is to be extracted click a comma then it will ask how many number you need to call you need to extract or I mean if you need to extract 10 you just say specify 10 and it will 10 it will extract 10 numbers from left if you specify 15 it will extract 15 numbers from left uh, my problem is that I do not know where this dot is coming so for that what I will do is after writing this I will ask Excel to do this on his own by using the command called find 
so I will say find it will ask find what I will say find a dot then comma it will say where so I will say again this column this column and row comma it then from where it has to start obviously counting will start from the first digit so I will say one and I will close the bracket can you see I have got the list I have got the text removing this PPT but see there is one problem the last dot is coming can you see so what I will say is do this changes and for me I, I don't need that dot so I will be trying to get one less number of items so that will remove the dot add a minus one to it done just copy it and you are here with the same or you have the value which you require now you can use this copy this and you can put it in wherever you want so hopefully it will help take care till the time we meet next see you then goodbye